opportunity. My 999 tells me to make my dreams a reality. My 99, ooh, somebody had a bad accident. Oh my God. Um, yeah, my 999, you know, uh, represents a new era. And I'm, 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 I'm trying to step into that new era. And so anyways, um, I've been studying neurology and I've been, I've been, been, been a spiritual person. So I don't have a specific religion. I'm not religious. I don't believe in any text wholeheartedly. I do believe that there is wisdom in all ancient, all religious texts. There is wisdom, but it's your job to study that text and discern and discern it for yourself, pick it apart. Seeing the things in the Bible, that's the same thing in the Quran. Seeing the repeated stories and the repeated messages and take that wisdom and apply it to your life. But don't take it as, you know, your God that came down and wrote a book for you. And if you read this book, if you listen to this book, all is well, cause no ma'am, no sir. That's not how it is. That's not, that's, that's not reality. The reality is you listening to somebody tell you what to do, how to think and how to feel. A human being, a person that, that's just like you, that that when they created this thing for you, it was in order to manipulate you and in order to um, control you and to keep you docile. So anyway, I've been studying that for a while now. And I want to tell y'all story time about how I really really finally say okay you know my ancestors and my spirit guides are with me they actually listen to me they actually hear me i'm not just crazy thinking that my ancestors are guiding me or every time i i feel that tap on my shoulder and they point something out for me i'm i feel like you know i i feel that i feel that i it's, i can understand that that's not me that's not me there's something beyond me but anyways um so back when we were like before we was even living in a, in a in a townhouse the last place that we lived in before we live in a tiny house now um i had watched a video about how to contact your spirit guides and of course you know you watch your videos about stuff you don't fully I, at least i don't ever fully believe it i don't ever fully dismiss it either and the video was saying that you know in order to, to connect with your fear guys and to learn their name and all of these things you need to pray to them contact them ask them for their name ask them to show you through your dreams um their personality through shows to show you their personality to show you who they are and all of these things right and so I'm like oh okay you know I I do that I guess whatever that ain't that ain't nothing crazy I, right before I go to bed I pray anyway so I'm just gonna pray this time and I'm gonna ask oh can you show me to do this so I pray that night and I asked my spirit God I said can I know your name can you tell me your name will you tell me your name so that I can call on you and then I asked to them to show me um, their selves through a personality, through um, a TV show or like a song or anything that they could use in the physical world to show me their personality. So I did that. I went to bed. I didn't think nothing of it. I had a dream of, now I, I don't have any friends. But I did belong to like a friend group, kind of. I really was only friends with one of the girls. Me and her became friends through work when we started um, hanging out. But when I started hanging out, we all hung out as a group. Cause she, cause that was her real friend group. And so when I came along, I just was like a plus one. And they all accepted me and everything. And it was, you know, cool y'all. But I, through the, through the friend group, I had met this one, um, this one, this one lady and her name, her name was was also a star constellation, but that's, you know, that's that's neither here nor there to me. In my dream, I'm able, I'm one of those people that when I dream, I know it's a dream, so I'm conscious during my dreams, and so I'm able to change them and stuff like that. 
And so during the dream, um, I had I before this time I had not spoken to this person in a long time because she actually cut ties with the group, and me and her already wasn't close because you know I was already a plus one. So once she cut ties with the group, it was no no way, no reason for me and her to keep in contact. So we did it, and um, so I had prayed. Hey! So I prayed and I dreamed of her and I and I was thinking in my dream like what why am I dreaming about this person like that's so weird I haven't talked to them thought about them they haven't talked talked to me thought about me mentioned me none of that stuff like I don't even know her really why am I dreaming of her and so her name kept popping up in my head in the dream and so I'm like oh okay yeah i know her name i know what's, what's going on why am i dreaming about her what is going on and then the name just kept repeating itself just kept repeating itself just kept repeating itself just kept repeating itself and so i was like i and so i said and i was still dreaming at this time and so i said in my dream is this your name i i just asked i said is this your name and they said yes and i woke up so i wake up i'm still tired um, I feel like I, just, I woke up just because the whole thing was like surreal for me and so I woke up I'm like oh my god like is this what I asked for Am I, did I just get my answer and I'm still skeptical so I, I wake up I'm, I'm starting to to really think about it and I'm like oh you know girl you crazy <laughs> I'm like girl you crazy that ain't what that is that ain't how that that's not how that um that's not why you had that dream about that girl. That was just a random dream. You thinking too much into it. That's not um, possible. That's not possible. That's not. Yeah, you asked for the answer, but even though you got the answer, it just don't sound right. It just something gotta be something gotta be false. Why? Why do you? Why do I think I'm able to contact my spirit guys? You know, any anything negative that you could think to kind of make yourself um not believe a truth because who around you have you heard talking about these things who around you have you seen that you can t that you can reach out and touch say oh yeah i spoke to my spirit gods oh yeah i prayed to the ancestors oh yeah this is my altar that i give thanks to god the universe ancestors spirit gods every day every wednesday every tuesday like you don't hear about this stuff and if as it being a new journey for me at that time um i just i just found any way to not believe something that i already knew was true but i tricked my mind into believing that that's not what it was <laughs> Bye.